And for today's morning postal excitement, a package from China. This one says scope. Looks a little small for a scope, but hey, let's have a look and see. And inside the box is another box. There's some decent packaging. Um, it looks it looks pretty uh, well packaged. Let's have a look and see what's inside. And inside the wrapping is a box and a pack full of Banggood stickers. As well as that, we have a UK adapter with outputs that look like they'll work just about anywhere in the world. Let's open up this packaging and take a look. Nearly there. So what we have here is a padded uh, instrument case, which looks pretty good. Let's have a look inside. And so inside we have an American plug in the wall power unit, hence the need for the adapter. We have some pretty ordinary looking uh, meter leads, the red and the black lead. As well as that, we have a single scope lead with a little tuning um, screwdriver, if you like. And so on to the scope. And here it is, the EM125 handheld digital oscilloscope. It's quite big, it would fit in a coat pocket. Um, over on the left, you see at uh, the top a set of multimeter inputs and then the scope input. Uh, so there it is. I'll remove that uh, plastic cover in a second. I did notice that down at the bottom we have a little bit of uh, Chinese, but there you go. The screen's clear enough. Uh, as you can see, uh, the bottom right uh, indicator there, the battery's full. It came that way. You do have to turn the light on and off manually. The monochrome display without the backlight is not very nice at all. The unit has a stand. I didn't realize at first, I was beginning to wonder about that, but as you flip the unit over, it becomes pretty obvious. Buttons. Well, we have the run hold button up and down, auto, power on, AC, DC. The AC, DC reflects in the display when you press it. And so let's have, um, let's have a, a test of this using it as a meter. So when I first opened the box, I found the instructions for the probe lead, referring to oscilloscopes, which are, well, not this one. Inside, it tells you about using a test point to calibrate the probe. Uh, you don't have a test point. So they really need to do something with that little manual. But there's the manual for the scope. And it's probably pretty obvious by now what the problem with that is going to be. Yep, you guessed it. It's in Chinese. Every last word of it. Thankfully, Banggood's website has, you can just download the English version of that manual, which is more than enough. And that's exactly what I did. So I obviously wasn't going to get very far with that manual. I decided to dive in and uh, set the thing up to use as a meter. So uh, you can see just off the top of the screen, I've got the red and black leads plugged in. And so the first thing I did was to short the leads together to make sure I got zero, which as you can see I did. I then plugged in a 3.2 volt lithium battery, which I just happened to have handy. And sure enough, 3.2 volts. Notice the uh, little bar. Uh, display underneath that which is quite handy so that's uh, that, uh, that that's it I tested a few other things but mainly um, just different kinds of batteries I would have preferred 
if the screen would be in all in English. But as well as uh, obviously the screen printing at the bottom, you'll notice in the LCD itself, there's a little bit of Chinese there. I will bring that up with the company and uh, see if they can fix that, presumably in a firmware upgrade. That's something I haven't investigated yet, but it's reasonable to assume that there's some way to do firmware upgrades. So I figured at this point, I could mess around forever, but I really needed the manual. And so armed with an English manual, which is always helpful, all 25 pages of it, I started to delve a little bit more deeply into what this scope's about. So it has a 160 by 64 pixel display. The battery apparently lasts 10 hours. I've not tested that. And as I started to go through, I realized that the test meter side of things is pretty good. Uh, it has AC and DC voltage, as you would expect. It does uh, resistance. It does diode testing. And also capacitance, which is quite nice. There is, of course, again, the reference to the test point for the probe, which doesn't exist. They really need to put a little bit more effort into these manuals. I'm waiting for a signal generator to turn up. Um, probably could be here within the next few days. So I'll be able to check into that and update the blog accordingly. I think I must have spent about 10 to 15 minutes going through the manual. Very quickly picked up what I needed to know in order to make use of it. It is going to be a useful thing to have sitting around on the bench, especially when I'm working with something relatively slow like an Arduino or something like that and I want an all-in-one instrument just to do simple testing. So I figured the next thing, uh, once I'd waded through the manual, would be to have a look and see what it looks like as an actual scope, rather than just a simple meter, which obviously you could get for a lot to, a lot less money. So there I'm, I'm going through the scope material, and well, let's just dive in and have a look. And here we are. So I've got the scope lead in my hand. I've got the scope running, as you can see there, 50 millivolt sensitivity, 20 milliseconds. You can see a rather crude display, but it's usable. There are the triggers, uh, which you can set. Notice the noise there on the scope. Um, you wouldn't see that on an old-fashioned tube scope because they were only really good at repetitive signals. So digital scopes tend to show noise, especially with such a, a low resolution uh, display, tend to show the noise. But I think that's actually a bit more realistic than what you used to get on the old tube scopes. And so there you have it. Over at the blog, I will no doubt go into a little more detail as I find out more. I really do need my signal generator to give you a lot more on this. But I would say, yeah, it's okay. Um, I've been playing with this most of the afternoon now, and the battery's still at 50%. You can't see it there, but as I'm looking at this now, it's at 50%. So I would say if you think the price is okay, I'll leave you to that. Um, it's probably worth a look. Anyway, there it is. Go to the blog, please. Have a look. See what you think. And of course, as always, thank you for watching.